What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of the Undergrad Forum. Today, special environment, special guest, Environment Research Lab, guest Amy Lee from UC Irvine. <laughs> if you haven't been watching the videos in this kind of stage, I guess this is kind of out of the blue, but having a conversation today between a second year medical student and Amy Lee, who is, I forgot already, uh, fourth year UCI, majoring in neurobiology. All right, so we got a college student who's applying to medical school and taking the MCAT, and myself, the beloved MSD. Uh, and so conversation today, we've been going back and forth with questions. There's been links. You can kind of follow them in progression. So what was the question? What was the uh, question for this video? I forgot already. Um, how do you go about selecting med schools to apply to? Oh, yeah. So like, okay, so application, you're filling out the primary, and there's a bunch, you know, you got to pick schools to send the primaries to. How do you know which one to pick? There's like over 100-something schools in the U.S., right? 125 or something? I don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, so how do you pick? Uh, real, real easy, man. It's like the most easy thing on the world. This is the easiest part of the whole application. <laughs> second, no, okay, it's the second easiest thing. The first thing is putting your name and address and where you grew up. The second thing is picking the schools. How do you do it? Um, so for me, it was a kind of a multiple strategies. One, you do have to look at what um, are the numbers that school takes in, right? Mm -hmm. If it's a school that's extremely competitive to get into and you don't really have the numbers, you can definitely apply to it. I did. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I applied to some real, real good schools. They didn't get in, but still, you know, <laughs> never know what's going to happen. Maybe they like something about you, right? Um, but So that was kind of my thing. I wasn't going to apply to every school in the nation. That cost a real lot of money, and I, I, did, I didn't want to go to every school in the nation. Yeah? So the first thing you have to ask yourself is, okay, so I'm thinking of applying here. Do I really want to go there if I get in? That's the first thing. If, if the answer is no, maybe you shouldn't apply. I mean, it's not bad to, like, have, like, a strategy where you kind of have, like, quote-unquote backup schools. So if, like, your first things you really wanted to get into but you just don't get in, but you still want to obviously go to medical school, it's good to have a backup, right? I mean, it's not, like, a bad thing, but you really want to be focusing on the schools you want to go to. So, Amy, how do you think we pick? What's your idea? Um, I think you should look through the answer. And well, what's the answer? I don't know the answer. <laughs> it's like this book. All right, come on. Tell them so straight. The YouTube Nation is smart. They know this stuff. I believe it's like this book that you can purchase anywhere, Amazon, your bookstore. Yeah, and it's published by the AAMC, so it's like a it's not some yeah. third-party book. And it pretty much has statistics and just information about all of the schools. And the U.S., yeah. So it's every school has two pages. The left page is like the school, the mission statement, some kind of general information. Right side is all numbers. Average MCAT, average, uh, even like broken down every section, average GPA and science GPA, average activities, ethnicities, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of stuff. So it's a real nice book. It costs like 20, 25 bucks, but it's like the database to have. There's no online version from what I know. Mm -hmm. um, good to buy. It's good to look through that book. So that's well, how actually, I, is it online? Um, for, I think it was just, it just happened like this year where the MSAR is now like this tiny book and it gives you an online code where you can actually look up the schools, like, oh. on, like PDF. Kind of thing. Nice. All right. Yeah. So I didn't have that, but uh, same thing, though. No, no, no. It's mm -hmm. different media. Um, so, yeah, go through all, all the schools. It's it's pretty easy. You can do it watching TV. You can do it while eating dinner. You can do it while sitting in your desk, focusing heavily. I don't care. Do something, right? But just go through every school, read a little bit about it, and just know when it's out there. There are a lot of schools you've probably never heard of or never probably thought about mm -hmm. that are, might, might have something that you're really interested in. Mm -hmm. So I kind of went to the schools and I figured out, well, there's research-based schools and there are those that are more primary care clinical focused. Um, mm -hmm. As you can tell from the background, I chose a, a research-based school. <laughs> uh, that's, that's what I wanted. I wanted to do research. It's really important to me. So I predominantly applied to research schools as opposed to the primary care ones. The second thing you need to decide is, where is the location? I wanted to stay in the beloved Golden State. Why not? <laughs> right? I mean, that was my idea. Be like, that would be fun to stay here. But um, sometimes it doesn't happen. I mean, one of my friends didn't end up here, and he's, um, I think he's like in uh, Chicago now. So it depends where you go, right? Um, so you need to pick location. Do you want to be close to a certain location? Do you have family or friends you want to be around? I wanted to be close to my family. I wanted to be close to like the people I knew. I didn't want to just move somewhere brand new by myself. I kind of wanted to have my um, my concentric circle of people or whatever, right? <laughs> uh, so location, is it research, is it clinical, what are the numbers? Do you really have, like, are, do you know, like, oh, my number's going to match these people I'm within a standard deviation. 
or am I kind of really above or really below? You kind of need to make an educated decision not to waste your money. If money's no issue, then, you know, apply to whatever you want. But I think, um, so how many schools do you think you're going to apply to? Hmm. I, I, we didn't prep these questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you these questions. I mean, we'll see, but I'm planning to apply to many. <laughs> Give me a number, man. Come on. 5, 40? 10, 15, 20, whatever. 40? 40 schools? Jesus Christ, a lot of secondaries, man. That's okay. I mean, most it's okay. taking a year off. I know, I know. Right. Most people apply to, uh, I think, like 30 to... Thir around 30 is from what I understand is like the normal number. That's a lot of schools, man. Uh, I mean, think uh, there is a lot of schools to apply to. That's a lot of secondaries to fill out. Uh, some schools screen for secondary, some don't. So that's a pretty high uh, secondary peak. Some people only apply to five or less schools. Depends where you are. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. If you want to apply to a lot, you apply to a lot. If you want to apply to a little, apply to a little. That is a personal, financial, and um, like comfortable decision you need to make. Mm -hmm. If you feel confident with applying to a couple schools, do it. Uh, some schools even have an early admissions process where you can only apply to that single school, and if you don't get in, then you can apply to other people, but then you're kind of late in the cycle. So if you're really set on one school, you can even do it early admissions. Um, oh, wow. so that's kind of a unique option. Not every school has a – MSAR will tell you what schools do. So I applied to, like I – didn't, I didn't apply to that many schools. I applied to quite a few less, but um, just what I wanted to do. So – Hopefully that answers their questions. Do you have anything else you want to mention? That's it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, enjoy your studies.